What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here at the Sushi Traveler. I'm your boy Mike Takla. We have a special guest today and you guys, I, I, I don't know if you know who this is. I'm sure you do, but check it out, all right? We've got Dan versus World. What's up, Sushi fam? Thank you, Mike, and you guys for having me on the show today. It's Dan versus World. I do a lot of food and travel videos in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and all over the world. So yeah, excited to grab some revolving sushi here at the Cure Revolving Sushi Bar. This is my first time at a sushi bar, so Mike's gonna show me around. At a revolving sushi bar. <laughs> His first time at a revolving sushi bar? Man, this is gonna be a treat all on its own, but all, his, all Dan's information will be in the description below. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the episode. All right guys, so right now we're gonna start off with my favorite sake, which is Mio Sparkling. And uh, Dan's actually never had this before, so it's gonna be his first time drinking sparkling sake. So super excited to have somebody else try it. So, all right. For you, sir. I've had regular sake, but never sparkling sake, so I guess this is like the fancier version. This is like the <laughs> fancier version. It's not that expensive, you know. I'm, you know, I'm not no Post Malone, you know, trying to get, you know, all fancy up in here. But, you know, we're trying to enjoy ourselves. All you, you know, well, not all you can eat, but for us, is all you can eat. You know, I'm a big guy. Dan's an eater too, so, you know. Hey, cheers, come pie, come pie. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, right? Super sweet, mm -hmm. crisp, not overpowering, just amazing. Mm -hmm. What is your take on it? It's good. You can taste that rice in there, and it's very sweet, like Mike said. Yeah? And crisp, not too sweet. I like it. I like <laughs> it a lot, actually. Nice, nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive right into the sushi. We're going to bring some sushi up on this table up in here, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. All right, so right now we have the ordering screen right here. This is going to be like this uh, little touchscreen iPad. And uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start ordering stuff. Dan, do you have anything in particular, man, that you like to order in terms of, uh, let's start with like nigiri. Okay, so always the salmon and the salmon toro, because that's the fattier version of the salmon, right? So those two are good for me. I usually just really go in on the salmon. Sometimes tuna and yellowtail. Let's um, start off with that salmon, man. Well, let's, uh, we'll get two orders of that. Boom. See that? Thank you, your order has been sent. How easy is that, right? Yep. And then it comes up on this uh, little conveyor belt here, as you guys can see. And then ours will come up on this very top portion, which it'll come right down this conveyor belt. Oh, so that's special. So yeah, Mike was yeah. telling me that you basically could grab anything you want at any time from here. So if you're hungry, you don't want to wait for your food, this is a great option if you're like, you step into the restaurant and you're starving. So, all right, you can just grab it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. go ahead and try to grab it, man. You wanna what grab something? Or you wanna okay. wait for another one? It's up to you. Um, I'll see what, uh... Oh, we got some, uh, uh, what is this, Kumamoto Wagyu coming up here. Okay, should we grab one of those? Yeah, go ahead and grab all it, right. man. Since your first time, I'll let you grab this one. Kumamoto Wagyu, let's see. So you open it? No, just go ahead and get yeah, it. Just oh, grab the plate. Grab the plate? No, the uh, green plate. Oh, man. Here, I'll help you out. You're doing a terrible job. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> man, I messed up. <laughs> we got an audience right there. They're laughing it up. It's all right. It's all right. You know what? It's his first time. It's my first time. I almost screwed up, but you know. Look at that. We got the plate. Look at that Wagyu. It's got some beautiful garlic chips on there. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, man, we're yeah. going to... You want to try it out first? Be the first? Wagyu. So I actually had Wagyu, well, not for my first time, but at a steakhouse for the first time not too long ago in Vegas. We had a 44 ounce tomahawk Wagyu. So that was one of my best experiences. So let's see how this matches up to that one. No sauce. I like it. The meat is very tender and rare. There's these crispy shallots, garlic on top to give it that nice flavor. But that's good. I like it. Man, I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was scary. I almost took down the whole revolving sushi bar, so I might have to let Mike handle the grabbing the sushi from now on. Yeah, this Wagyu is really amazing with these garlic chips. Oh, falling apart. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, we got some guests here. Yeah, so you just personal. grab this right here. This is the, uh, the salmon belly. How beautiful is that, right? I'm going to put that right there. Gorgeous salmon belly right there. All right, Dan, right now we got that crab. Check it out. It's real snow crab. 
Let me know what you crab. think. A real snow crab. Let me try it out. Yeah, right go ahead. Yeah. Try it out, man. Let me know what you think. How is that really good? Nice, cool, sweet, shredded pieces of snow crab. It's good. Nice and fresh and sweet. Now we're gonna try some of this beautiful snow crab. Look at that. Amazing. And it's real crab, guys. Real crab here at Cora Revolving Sushi Bar in Sherman Oaks, California. Oh man, I am like super excited. But you know what? Also, Comes with this little squeeze bar, squeeze jar of soy sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a little squeeze, little action going on. Look at that. Oh yeah. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Just like Dan was saying, that is incredible. That is incredible. But you know what, man? We're waiting for that roll to come out. It's gonna be a pretty cool roll, and we're just waiting for it to be made right now. Comes up on this little bar here at the top, as I showed you guys earlier. But you wanna try out the uh, salmon belly right now? Let's do it. So that's yours. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and try this delicious salmon belly. Salmon belly. Right. Oh, wow. Put some soy sauce on it. I'm gonna skip the soy sauce on this one. I just wanna taste that fattiness. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. You taste that extra fattiness in it. Your teeth just carves through the, the fish. It's right? very tender. It just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Melts in your mouth, everybody. Oh, the other piece. Mm. Mm. And we're gonna see how many plates that we can have at the end as well. So we're already at number three. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one of these right. crab, a little soy sauce action. Mmm. All right, so I'm gonna grab this one right here. It's a seared scallop with Japanese mayo. All right. Just lift up. Oh, there you yeah. go. All right, Look success. That. Beautiful seared scallop, a little bit of uh, mayo on the top of that. Go ahead, my friend. Mm -hmm. Try it All out. Right. Let me know what you think. Mm. You get that nice grilled taste because it's seared, and the mayo is nice and sweet and fatty, and the scallop is very tender. So let's go ahead and try that scallop out right now. Beautiful sear on that. Check it out. Just amazing. Mm. Super good. The plates are stacking. Plates are stacking, that's right. Oh, look. So this is called the, uh, what is it, the Kura Roll? Kura Roll. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try that out. All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and try this beautiful Kura, kura Roll itself. On the inside, it's got some, what is it? Look, I'm just gonna read off of it. It's got what? Seaweed, sushi rice, avocado, shrimp, mayo, salmon, lemon, sesame, and salt. Amazing, right? All right, man, go ahead and try it out. Let me know what All you right, think. Let's dig in. It's the name of the sushi bar, so it should be good. Yep, his first Kura Roll. Mm. Oh. Tastes a lot of that mayo, and the main ingredients in here is the seared salmon on top and the shrimp. So you taste a lot of the shrimp in this roll. It's a good roll. Yeah, everything has just been phenomenal so far, guys. I mean, everything is just fresh, delicious, and you know, they go through a lot of fish here at Coral Revolving Sushi Bar. And you know, there's a reason that they do is because the quality is on point and that's why they're always so busy and there's always a wait every single time. Mm -hmm. Last time I was here, Dan, there was a three and a half hour wait. Wow, three and a half hours? Three and a half hours. And you stayed till two eight? <laughs> I stayed, I'm hungry, I'm a hungry guy. I had to, right? Oh wow. Let's I'm gonna I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna try this one also. Look at that. Mmm. That's really good. All right. All right, guys. So right now, I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of this revolving action. Look at that. Got some salmon right there. Got some tuna coming around the corner right there. I mean, what do you guys think, right? Awesome, so good. 
I mean, it's not no fancy upscale joint, right? It's just, you know, we're just dining right now, yep. just eating some delicious Chilling. food. Right? Eating some food, grabbing all our plates. Yeah, Let's just keep on stacking. Please. Keep on stacking. Stacking, stacking, stacking. All right, man, so which roll do you want to go to right next? This one looks amazing. The spicy garlic popcorn shrimp roll. I'm gonna tap on that. Order one. You want two or just one? No, go ahead and just order one, man. Order. We'll yeah. I mean, everything looks delicious. Look, we even grab got some this. more salmon. Yeah, grab if you want to grab it, go ahead. Let's grab one of these. Yeah. Look at that. Seared salmon with Japanese miso. Delicious. All right. Get a, little a little bit of ginger. Ginger to cleanse the palate. Let yeah. me know what you think of that salmon, man. Try this out. Mm. I love that grill flavor around right top of the salmon. It's very tender. Your teeth carves through it. And the Japanese miso topping just gives it that extra 3D fatty taste on it. Good. Yeah, I totally agree with that 100%. I mean, everything just looks incredible with that miso on top of that salmon. And <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, look, a roll is we there. got a roll at the top. Look at that. Deliciousness with like popcorn shrimp. It's got some sriracha, some garlic chips on it. So we're gonna go ahead and enjoy that. I'm gonna grab this last piece right, of hair, but. Mm. Stack it up. All right, let me try the salmon first. Hmm, that looks amazing, man. All right. This All right, guys, we're gonna try this out. Spicy garlic popcorn roll. All right. Let's try it at the same time, ready? Ready. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Mm. Those garlic really chips, sick. right? Those garlic chips really add another depth of flavor to that shrimp and that roll. Mm -hmm. Really simple though, right? Yeah, Nothing like, crazy. There's like one fried piece of shrimp on there with some sriracha. And yeah, the garlic chips will give it that garlic flavor. It's very interesting. I thought it would actually be real garlic, but they're garlic chips. And it's not overpowering either, which is an added benefit. Let me go to some of this uh, nigiri here. Um, let's go ahead and go to the recommended section. I'm gonna get some uh, bluefin toro. Bluefin toro. Oh, look at that. Let's get, uh, let's get two orders of that. And then there's another section up here. I'm just gonna bring you guys up here so you guys can see. So we're gonna go ahead and go to this uh, Kuma Moto Wagyu Gunken. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Let's do two things of that because I love that stuff. And I just can't wait to eat that because I'm gonna fall in love with it once again here at Kura. And this is gonna be Dan's first time trying it here. So we just, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. There is so much food going around this sushi bar right now. Mm -hmm. Negitoro. Oh, the Negitoro is coming around the corner right now. Look guys, I just wanna show you, look at that. Negi Toro. I'm gonna grab this before anybody else does. Look at that. Oh, amazing. That's just a uh, shredded Toro? Shredded Toro, a little bit of uh, green onion, you know, a little bit of scallion. I mean, it looks amazing. You wanna go ahead and try it out, man? Right. Let me know what you think. Try it out. Negi Toro. Right here. Amazing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let me use my fingers on this one. Mm. Really good. Toro is really fatty. That it was a green onion on there, right? It gives it that nice fragrance to it. That green onion really just adds a little, just a little bit of depth of flavor, you know, with the onion taste. But with that negi toro, I mean, it's just really amazing. Actually, look, there's another negi toro. I'm gonna grab it. That's how good this is. You like those garlic chips, huh? I like them. Really good, right? Got some ginger. You got that other Negi Toro. Look at that. Ooh. It's amazing. Our Toro just came. Ooh, our Toro. Look at that. All right. It's Toro time. Look toro at that time. fattiness. Now, this does not look... Okay, so 
When it comes to Toro, guys, and I'm gonna give uh, Dan a little fact here. So, a lot of places only serve maybe like Chu Toro. Um, really hard to find uh, Otoro, but from the looks of this, it is actually Otoro. Mm. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. I mean, the fattiness on that is just amazing. You can see the marbleization on it. It's very slight, but you can see the marbleization on it. It almost looks like a pink steak. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead and try it, man. Let me know what you think. No soy sauce. Got to taste it in its full glory. Yep. That was really fresh, very tender. It's, your teeth just carves through it. Look, it's all gone, he ate it. The texture, the consistency of the fish is where it's at. Exactly. All right, now I'm gonna get mine right now. And we even got our uh, Kumamoto right now, up from the top, that Wagyu. Wagyu. Gonna eat that in a second. But first, gonna dive right in to that Otoro. Stacking up the plates. Mmm. Oh wow, that's super, super good. <laughs> I'm really excited about that piece. That Toro was amazing. But, yeah man, um, let's go ahead and dive right into this Wagyu. Look at that. Would you say this is the same cut as the other one? It's just like It's the same, up. but it's put into like a gunkin form. Mm, yeah. So they chop it up and they put it into, this, uh, into the seaweed and the sushi rice on the bottom. So, cheers man. Cheers. Mm. It's so good. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Going in for another piece. Wagyu. Guga. Guga Foods. Come on, man. I got the Wagyu right here. What's different about this one, there's like a slight teriyaki sauce on it and like very fried crispy garlic on here. It gives that extra flavor on it. Mm -hmm. Really good. Can try another one of the Negitoro? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Grab away. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, so right now, let's see. I'm going to go back up to uh, the screen here. I know the screen is kind of a little hard to see, but um, we're going to go ahead and go back to the uh, nigiri part. And uh, have you ever had conch? I've never had conch before. I was looking at that. It looks very interesting. It's actually really, really good. Let's go ahead and grab an order of that. Your order has been sent. All right, then we're going to go, let's, uh, next. And then, uh, let's see. I want you to try something that they have on here. Let me see if I can find it. Two hours later. Next. Uh, I think it's going to be, I'm trying to find the, oh, here we go. So Ikura Norimaki. So this has a, like Ikura on the top. It's got seaweed, cucumber, and sushi rice. Let's go ahead and try that. This one's really good. You'll like that one. I'm excited for you to try it, man. I'm this stuff is really it. good. It is really good. You know, I'm, this is my first time being at a sushi bar. You think that it kind of, you know, gets stale while going around the sushi bar, but it's not. Everything we've had has been very fresh. It never stays Unclean. long enough. Yeah, because people yeah. are just grabbing it. There's a lot of empty shells too. Let's try the uh, let's try this uh, scallop. This doesn't have any sear on it, so this is just in its natural form. Okay. So check that out. Beautiful Hokkaido Japanese scallop. We're gonna go ahead and try it. All right, just one, right? Okay. Scallop Cheers, time. everybody. Mmm. Mmm. So buttery, tender. It's so sweet though, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in for this uh, ginger right here. Yeah, cleanse the palate. Cleanse it. We're stacking it high. We're stacking these plates. You guys can see there's a lot of plates here. All right guys, so right now we got that conch. Look at that. I mean, it's a giant snail. That's pretty much what it is. So we're gonna have him try it. I don't know if he's, have you tried it before? I might have tried it in its snail format, but I don't know about I'm pretty sure I've so, tried this before. It's no, going to be a little crunchy, okay? It might not look crunchy on the outside, but I promise this is crunchy. I actually put some soy sauce mm -hmm. on it, but it's going to have a little crunch factor. Mm, it's super crunchy. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
That's that snail essence that comes out of that. Mm -hmm. That was really crunchy. Right? It was good. It almost tastes like you're eating like hard lift, like a, like a pig ear. If you had pig ear yeah. before. Oh. But it has a different taste, flavor. You want to try this tiger roll? A little spicy. Looking at it. What's in the tiger roll? So we have some uh, some avocado, some uh, ebby, shrimp, jalapeno, sriracha. You know, just your, your standard, you know, California roll with a little added spice to it. Mm -hmm. Also, what I noticed is that all these rolls are, you know, cut up in twos, threes, or fours. So I guess people want to go in for a variety to try a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah, so the pieces are not that big. That's why they're really good. Good try, man. Right. Let me know what you think. I'm going to go into this ebby is... Uh, Kind of calling my name right there, that spiciness. Mmm, -hmm. mm, it's good. It's like a spicy, I guess that's the heavy spicy mayo on yep. it. it. Gives that creamy spiciness to it, and you get the fresh shrimp all around. That's really good. It's really good. Oh, you're gonna love this, man. Now, this next thing right here, I gotta get it with a little extra stuff on it. This is a hamachi tataki with a ponzu oil. Check it out, guys. Oh, yeah. So you're gonna really like this. Okay. Let me know what you think. The hamachi with ponzu oil. So. Hamachi, yeah, with ponzu oil. No soy sauce needed. No soy sauce needed. Mmm. Mm. That one, that fish is very salty. It's the most saltiest fish I've had here so far. Has definitely a different flavor profile to it. Yeah. Very salty. It's good. Well, that saltiness just, it brings out a taste, but too much can be overpowering. So like that, that ponzu oil was just a little bit overpowering, a little too much. I could have, you know, with, gone without it, but this is the freshness of that hamachi, you know, and I think the hamachi, you can kind of taste like maybe like a dry age for maybe like a few days, which, you know, just makes it a little bit better, but that ponzu oil has got to go. Oh, there we go. That's the... Uh, the hand rolls. All right, so right now we have these hand rolls here. Finally found them on the menu. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to have uh, Dan try, do you like um, uh, soft shell crab, Dan? Oh, I love soft shell crab. All right, so right here is called the spider roll. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get two orders of this. This is a really good uh, hand roll and it's just truly amazing. The flavors on the hand roll, and I've had it many times, is superb. So you guys will enjoy that. This is actually a question because I'm cur very curious, actually. I don't know if Mike can answer it for us. Hopefully I can but, answer it. So we order on here, so that's very easy to track. How do they track what we grab? On through the plates. So they count all the plates through this machine. Also, all the plates are the same price? All the plates, yeah, they're all $3.15. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. That's so this, very cool. This is the uh, Ikuramaki. So yeah, all the plates here are $3.15. Yeah, they did go up in price from the last time I was here. They were only $2.95 at the time. But right now, they're $3.15 each, and they're counted uh, right down below. I'll show you guys at the end how we do that. But after every five plates, you're gonna see, I'm gonna bring this up here. You're gonna see right up there, they have like this uh, little game that you can play. So every five plates will actually give you access to that. And then I believe every 15 plates in total, you win a prize. Wow. So, I mean, I've had the price here before, man. You can definitely have it this time because we're going to have enough plates for sure. But we're almost there. We're almost there. Where are we at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're already at 20 plates right now, you know, so that's pretty darn good. So we're going to keep on going. So right now we're going to have this uh, ikuramaki. Um, it's just really simple, just cucumber on the inside. They're really small pieces, um, as you guys can see. Look how tiny that is. But it's just enough to, you know, just to make, you know, tantalize your palate just a little bit. A so word. cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm. That's very refreshing. Super refreshing with that cucumber. It is. Cool crispness of that uh, cucumber. Those little popping, you know, yeah. beads of the uh, salmon egg. The salmon eggs. That's exactly what it did. Tantalize the taste buds. Remember, if you want to follow my man right here, all his information will be in the bottom below. His Instagram, YouTube, all that info. You got to check it out. This guy travels everywhere. One of the last videos I saw him do, he ate so much lobster. It was amazing. It was so cool. Yeah. Wish you could have been there to eat all that lobster with him. But you know what? <clears throat> 
We're also going to do another video coming up soon. We're going to collab together. You just got to stay tuned for that. It'll be on his channel, and uh, all that information will come up later. All right. So this one, this is a real crab California roll. Okay. Real crab California roll. Real crab California roll, guys. All right? I mean, this just looks amazing. Look at that. Real crab. Go ahead, man. Try it out. We don't do imitation around here. No imitation here, folks. Let's see. It's the real deal. Real deal. Real deal crab. Mm, you know. So my tongue just swished through the crab. It's just much softer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. And it has like a sweeter profile to it. That's some good stuff. I'm gonna put some soy sauce on my plate right here so I can have it when I'm dunking my uh, sushi. All right, two more plates. Just keep on stacking. Can I try some octopus? Uh, I'll pass on octopus. All right, <laughs> I'll do the octopus. You guys know how I love my taco. Have you tried this one yet? The seared beef? No, go ahead and grab it. You want to grab it? Alright. Yeah, just lift up. There you go. Alright. The seared beef with yakinu sauce. Alright. Yeah. Let's try this one out. Ooh. And also, look at that tenderness from this octopus. Look at that. Sauce on the beef is really good. It's nice and sweet. The salty touch with the sesame seeds. It's good beef. Yeah, that looks it. Right? All right. All right, guys. Oh yeah! Look at that just come down. Look at these spider rolls. Oh yeah. I take them off. Look at that soft shell crab goodness. Oh man, that looks so good. Take a bite, man. Let me know what you think of that. What is this right here? So that's, is that real crab? It's real, yeah, it's real okay. soft shell crab. So they have the fried soft shell crab and the real stuff. And the real stuff on the inside. All right. Take a big bite. Mm. One more. One more, again, take another bite. That's some good bites, man. <laughs> I got the thumbs up. I got the thumbs up. I definitely got the thumbs up on that one. It's so, really good. Right? Look at that. Ah, oh, just delicious. Soft shell crab hand rolls going on. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and indulge in this. Oh, I gotta take a bite. Uh, I don't even know how to take a bite. Oh, that was a weak bite. Mmm, that's so good. Some good stuff, guys. The only thing I don't like about the hand roll is that they put like this little thing of like lettuce in here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at that. Look at that big piece of lettuce. This lettuce is uncalled for, honestly. I mean, you got the seaweed, you got the rice, you know, you got the, uh, you got the crab. I mean, it fell out, but who cares? That's really messy. They can definitely leave the lettuce out. That might have been my favorite thing here so far, or like top three. I really like yeah. that crab roll. Real soft shell crab, real crab on the inside. I like that they include the fresh soft shell crab and the fried soft shell crab. So you get like two textures in there, the soft and then the crunchy. Best of both worlds, right? I'm just gonna finish it off, even eat the lettuce. It's stacking. I mean, for two people, it's stacking pretty good. Now, we're not gonna get to 100. I already know that for sure, you know? I mean- 100 plates? 100 plates. 100 plates, wow. I've seen some people do it, you know? And I, you guys know who you are, but I, I can't personally. Can you do it, Dan? Can you do 100 by plates myself? by yourself? Not by myself. I would say- That's hard. Well, how many did we go through so far? Around like 25? About 25 or so. I would say maybe I'll get close to 50 if I'm trying to real put, really push it. Yeah, I, I probably have to agree with him, you know, because most of them are two pieces each, 
you know, and right now we've been eating about one piece each, you know, just to kind of taste it, you know, everything, so we can get as many things to taste. Yep. But that's a lot of food. So, I mean, right here, we have 25 plates. So we're gonna go for a few more, you know? I'm, I'm still hungry, man. Have I'm a big guy, lunch. you guys know it. Actually, what I wanna do right now is I'm gonna do the Negi Toro hand roll. What, what about you, man? Negi Toro hand roll? I'm good on that one. You good on that one? All right, let me get that one. I'm looking to this one. Salmon Golden Crunchy mm -hmm. Roll. Awesome. Yes. He's, got, he's picking some good choices, man. I'm telling you. And remember, to me. <laughs> and remember, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Subscribe button. Go ahead and give this video a like. It helps the channel grow. And, you know, remember, follow my man right here. All his info, Dan vs. World. Dan vs. World. Dan vs. Look, he's even got the merch. Look, the merch. showing off the merch. The merch. <laughs> I'll have merch soon, but I got to at least pass 10,000 first, right? I'm only at 4,000 right now. Come on, guys. You guys want to see me go yeah, to Japan, yeah. right? Well, that trip, that, remember, I told you, just got to get to 10,000. Dan, tell these people, 10,000, Japan. 10, got to get 10,000, hit Japan. You heard the man. Sushi Traveler in Japan. That'll Sushi be, uh, Traveler in Japan. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more food. Oh, we got the, uh, is that the Negi Toro? Negi Toro just came up. Ooh, look at that. Look at that Negi Toro hand roll. Ooh, yeah. This looks tremendous. No soy sauce for me on this one. You're liking that Negi Toro. Mmm, so good. Crispiness of that nori. It's amazing. So that's your top three item here? Mm-hmm. The Negator is really good. The one thing I try to stay away from, I don't know if you guys saw it going by, is the Tamago. <clears throat> I know it's not made here. <laughs> and it scares me. Because <laughs> it's not fresh. Fresh Tamago makes a whole lot of difference. And you can't go wrong with real. From scratch, right? From scratch, that beautiful egg. I mean, yeah. But, oh, that Negi Toro hand roll is so freaking amazing. Okay. We got your roll coming. It's here. Golden California. Salmon Golden Crunchy Roll. Look, it looks beautiful. So much color in there. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good, man. Enjoy that. All right. Are you going to have some or no? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll try it out for sure. This is the, um, oh, wow. Before. It's a lot of try, crispy hey, try, try two pieces at once. Okay, two pieces two, at once. Let's do two pieces at once. And I'm going to do it like this. Two pieces at once. Mm. Wow. Kind of makes it a little bit different when you try two pieces at once. Yeah, you get all the flavor and the sauces in there. Yeah. There's so much crispy garlic on there. It's super crunchy. It's like the salmon, I believe, is like shredded. So it's like a mush of flavor. Yeah, that's a pretty good roll. And I don't care. Most people say, no, don't order the rolls. Don't do it. You're wasting. Go grab the nigiri. Welcome to the Sushi Traveler. We have everything. Everything sushi-wise. Mm -hmm. Even Wagyu, it's beef, right? It's still sushi, mm -hmm. right? You put it over rice. Give me it in a hand roll. I'll eat it. Oh, I gotta go for one of these real crab again. And then I gotta go for the conch again. Oh. Try one of those too. Good. All right. Is this the yeah the real real crab, crab man? Real crab in this gunkin. Mm. A little bit of soy, you know, a little drippy drip with that soy sauce. Mmm, so amazing. That one is juicy. I took a bite, and some of the snow crab like juice is just. Melts in my mouth. This guy knows how to describe fish, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. This it's guy good. knows how to describe his food. Now, really hey, you wanna try the conch? Try one more. All right. Crunchy, crunchy with that crunch factor up in here. Look at that. This is crunchtastic. Mm -hmm. It's a crunchified experience with a crunch factor of 10. Mm. Really crunchy. All right, guys. It comes to the very end. We are full. Mm -hmm. We had so much sushi, as you guys can see. But before I leave you guys, I'm going to show you guys how everything works. So you guys got to check it out first and foremost. All right, guys. So right now, we got our final result right here. Check out all these plates. 
I mean, just stacked up high. Amazing. Dude, ate all that sush, man. I feel like Goku. And <laughs> Dragon Ball, man. You know, after he eats, he trains, he eats all the plates. Yep. It looks like this. And you're going to turn into Super Saiyan mode, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> so right now, we're going to go ahead and put those right there, those plates. I'm going to let my man do the honors right now. Right. He's going to go ahead and start putting those plates. Go ahead, man. And then stop after five so we can check out our prize. The two. This is so satisfying. <laughs> Five. Okay. We get a price. Early trouble. Oh, we didn't win the price. We got to do more. Go ahead, man. Put some more plates in there. Three, four, and five. All right, let's see. I think it's a pretty cool game, man, right? You get to win a prize at the end. <clears throat> oh no, we didn't win. We gotta put more plates. Two, three, four, and five. All right, I hope we win this time. Up, uh, vinegar's charging him up. Viva Las Vinegar. Hope we win that. Ooh, we got a, we got a gift. We got a gift, man. How exciting, yeah, right? All right, it's gonna come up here. You're gonna see it. It's gonna drop right below, and boom! Oh, what is this? <laughs> Go ahead, man. It's All your right, first time. Okay. You gotta open it. Peckers. I think you just pop it open. Pop it. It is a microfiber cloth. <laughs> Pure microfiber. Oh, I, I, I can use this to clean my lens. Right? Nice, nice. nice. I like it. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and just put some more. We're going to go ahead and do this quick. Look at that. Oh, just throw them in there. Go ahead. Woo! It's tumbling plate time, guys. And final one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Can we win another one? Can we go for round two? Oh, no, man, we couldn't go to round two. But, hey, all right, guys. So I just want to thank you once again. You saw that game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, uh, my man was able to win his first time here at Kura Revolving Sushi Bar. We're in Sherman Oaks, California, in L.A. So I just want to thank you guys for joining us on another incredible, incredible sushi adventure here on the Sushi Traveler. If Remember, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment and share with all your friends. And remember, follow my man here. His yep. info is in the description. I'm going to give a shout out to everybody. Yep. Thank you, Sushi Fam, for having me. It was a pleasure being here with Mike. We had a great sushi lunch. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, Dan versus World. His info will be at the bottom. And the next sushi adventure will be on his channel. So stay tuned, everybody. Take care. On to the next.